Hey, welcome back. In our last video, we introduced the risks tied to wearable devices and why they deserve a place in your cybersecurity strategy. Your wearable is any smart device you wear on your body. And as you know, these fitness trackers, smart watches, or even smart glasses are always working behind the scenes, counting steps, checking your heart rate, and syncing to your devices. But did you know, it could also be silently connecting to Bluetooth devices and Wi-Fi networks you didn't approve. Wearables, much like most smartphones, often auto-pair with known devices or continuously scan for open connections in the background. If Bluetooth is left on and discoverable, attackers nearby can exploit vulnerabilities during the pairing process. This can allow them to intercept data, like messages and location info, or worse, hijack the device altogether. Once hijacked, an attacker could potentially access other connected devices, impersonate your identity, or inject malware. And if you've ever connected your wearable device to public Wi-Fi, at a gym, airport, or coffee shop, you may have unknowingly opened a back door even further. Public networks are often unsecured, making it easy for hackers to eavesdrop on data being transmitted between your device and the cloud. One common tactic is known as the man in the middle or MITM attack, where a hacker secretly intercepts and possibly alters the communication between your device and the internet. This allows them to steal sensitive data like login credentials, personal messages, or even authentication tokens. Attackers have also been known to use what is called an evil twin attack and set up fake Wi-Fi hotspots with names that look legitimate, like airport free Wi-Fi or gym guest, hoping that unsuspecting users will connect. Once connected, all your traffic is routed through their malicious server, giving them full visibility into your activity and the opportunity to inject harmful content or redirect you to phishing sites. Now, despite all these malicious attempts to access your data, you and your wearables can still fight back, starting with a few smart settings like disabling auto pairing, which will always require approval before your device connects via Bluetooth, turning off Bluetooth and Wi-Fi when not in use. And this reduces the window of opportunity for attackers to access your device. Avoiding public Wi-Fi. If you must use it, be sure to connect through a confirmed Wi-Fi network provided by an establishment or use your phone's personal hotspot. And keeping your firmware updated, as updates patch security holes that attackers rely on. Your wearable may look harmless, but as we've seen in this training, its connections can expose more than you think. 